What's up, everybody? I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope everyone's taking care of themselves. I hope everyone's getting plenty of exercise and nutrition and all that good stuff. I hope everyone is finding time to get into the studio and get creative. And overall, I hope everyone is having a good Sunday. We're going to get right into it again today, folks. Today, we are glad to help introduce the community to the brand new GGD One Kit Wonder Aggressive Rock Kit. And I got to say, this is really a fantastic kit. And, um, the, you know, just I think the contributions from Adam, uh, Nolly, Get Good, and uh, the uh, just the band periphery in general have been tremendous to the community because consistently we get these great sounding drum kits that just get introduced. And now we get some new drum sounds, some new flavors that we can kind of call upon upon at any given time and just you know, have some great sounding drums in our mix. These one kit wonder drums are designed to get into the studio quickly and start creating. And that was the overall idea that I took for this song that you guys got to see a little bit of the recording process of. So attack on the road, stop the meat plow. Got a bullet, bullet. Pictures of everything to break us down, yeah, to break me down. Um, that video I'll release a full length of when I finish the mix, and and ultimately right now this mix is still in progress. I have drums, I have bass guitars, I have guitars, I have vocals, right. I dropped into the studio and recorded everything that you see in this one day. And ultimately, that in and of itself wouldn't have been possible without this fantastic sounding drum kit. So this is what we're talking about today. Just kind of going over how, how I used this particular kit. Um, we'll listen to just a, a slight bit of the mix and then I'll solo the drums. You'll kind of see how I recorded those. Um, and we'll also just kind of talk about the drum sounds themselves cause they're great. So, um, let's jump in. Um, I'm just going to start it from the beginning and right now I I'm input monitoring these tracks. So right now, I mean, even though there's sounds obviously recorded to these channels, that's not what you're hearing. You're actually hearing this play live by the contact player. So let's give this a listen. I solo the drums and my vocal channel. So you can hear what's going on. And um, I've got contact loaded as an instrument right now. So obviously it's a bit of a trick. You're seeing these audio waveforms, but um, you're actually hearing the contact player at the minute. So um, I'm actually going to follow playback so that Anytime I stop playback, it just continues from where I left off. That is going to serve me well in this particular instance. That's a pro tip for Pro Tools users. Insertion follows playback. It's that little button right there. Um, so insertion follows playback. 
It's great. Anyway. Right? It sounds perfect, and I'm not doing much to it. It's already a pre-mixed kit, so, you know, the need for this is actually, you know, probably negligible um, if you really dive in and uh, look at this. But I'm mixing this down on a uh, Brainworks SSL uh, 4000G, uh, which ultimately is just adding a little bit. It's just a touch. Um, so... I'm also sending a little bit to a room and a little bit to a hall reverb. And I've actually got these controls set right now. I've got parallel engaged, master EQ disengaged. Because I figured I would do some EQ, you know, myself. So. But it sounds fan freaking tastic. And what I did is I just dropped into the studio. I had this groove, this MIDI groove, recorded from a, you know, uh, a session that I had done like a year, maybe a year and a half ago, you know. Um, and I was using this to practice guitars to, I mean, for the longest time. And this is the reason why I love this song by STP in particular is it's just a great song to practice guitars to. That's it. That's it. Just great song to practice bar chords and just practice these changes from these, you know, big kind of open, you know, all string chords and so this groove i actually was just listening to the rec so this groove is not in time i mean if you zoom in this is so out of time it's not even funny but i um i was listening to the song and i just um i just played this groove and there it is you know so this groove lives as just, you know, it's just in, su in some parts, you can kind of feel the swing of it, you know, more than others. And I think it sounds great. And so, right, last week, this is Sunday, okay? So, Sunday. And last week, because uh, it's already next week, right, Sunday. So last week, this aggressive kit comes out, right? I have this groove on file in another session. So I drop into the studio, do some pre-production by drop by creating this session, dropping the groove in there and just letting it rip. I had to move a few of the drum sounds around to get it to play correctly because this groove I actually created on a different GGD library. And that's something to be aware of. Um, just, you know, if you have a pre-made groove, then the drum sounds may not line up exactly with where these drum sounds are on the keyboard, but they will probably be pretty close. I think the kick and the snare tend to be right around, you know, where they're at. So you, you know, you get a feel for it pretty quickly. You might just have to move some cymbals and some toms around, um, which is what I did. And I spent, you know, I knew exactly what I had to do going into it. It was recorded elsewhere. I fitted it into this kit. I fitted it into this kit in like, I don't know. It wasn't 30 seconds. I was about to say, say 30 seconds because that's ridiculous. But it, it probably took me, honestly, about five minutes, all told. I don't remember exactly how much time it took, but it was, it was real fast. I jumped in here, moved a few things around, and it, was, and it sounded like this. Right? And so pre-production done. I recorded the groove and here it is in Pro Tools. And it sounds fantastic, right? Um, and so the, the idea is that you can jump in and create quickly. That was the whole concept of this kit and it achieved exactly that. I dropped into the studio. It was literally after work, right? After dinner. And I dropped into the studio and it was done. Drums, done.
And that's how you should think about using this, okay? Drums, done. If you have a groove, or if you have an ability to record a groove, which is what I'm gonna show you a little bit, I've got another camera here uh, that I'm gonna actually show you how I typically record grooves so you can get a feel for how I recorded this groove. But it takes me, honestly, I don't wanna put that whole process of me recording a groove on video because it's like, it's sometimes it takes longer than others. I accept failure. I accept that I'm not a great drummer, but I'm pretty good and I like to make it sound like a human feel. I like to make it sound like an actual drummer or an actual rhythm, you know? So certain things that you might not hit, you know, like at the same time, like you might not hit the hi-hat and the ride and the, and the snare all at once. You know what I mean? You don't have three arms. So it's just like, I try to, I try to play the drums in a way that a, a drummer would actually play it. Um, and I hope that comes across, you know? I mean, if you dig this song, um, then you know this is this is how it sounds, you know. And um, the I, just doing a little bit of digging into how it sounds and and seeing the videos that um, that Nolly put out, and Misha put out, it it does sound it's aggressive, you know. The kick and the snare is punchy and loud and and just boomy. It's fucking great. Um, and you know the the symbols they're they're just dark enough they're just buried enough to really grow and bloom but not fucking be totally just out of control and so that's what i love about this kit is that it sounds fantastic for this kind of stuff for any sort of rock but also you know, when it says aggressive rock or modern fusion, like take that stuff with a grain of salt too, because anything can also work. You know what I mean? You can get this to sound great with any kind of music. So don't let the, uh, the, <laughs> the genre flavor fool you. It's just kind of what I think it's giving you an idea of what the creator, what Nolly had in mind when he was creating this sound, which he explained in the video. It's kind of like darker symbols, um you know real loud aggressive sort of kick and snare so that's it's just that it's freaking awesome and so you can kind of see in the bottom of this video what i'm doing i mean i'm sitting here playing the groove and then on this camera i mean you're you're seeing my fingers right so this is how i put grooves into pro tools Right. If it sometimes I'll use a pre-made groove, but I'll also tweak it too, and sometimes just add a bit of my own flavor. And, and other times, most of the time, this is how I'll do it. I lay out a keyboard and just bash on it, and that's you know just Dave, Dave Grohl it, <laughs> you know. And that's how I'll record the groove. Um, but yeah, this is it's a fantastic sounding kit. Um, you know, it, there's not like different kick sounds or different snare sounds if you go into their modern massive libraries there are other libraries which are also great they have options you know what i mean this is it's just it's not meant to have all that it's not meant to give you a ton of like oh here's your thousand options you know that's cool too but it's also just meant to give you a kit right that you can record just out of the gate and when you jump into the mixer um you know you got your options for kick snare tom one and two overhead mono and room and you just output them to where they need to go on your pro tools channels i got tons of videos on this go check them out um but yeah they're recorded in pro tools in seconds and if you're like me i've got a template two two templates of this already saved a session template and a track template that i can just load up this drum kit in any song ready to go, and here I am. And so, how does that groove go? It's like, bow, now, 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 down. And so what I'm doing is I'm kind of like, I know the hat is also going the entire time, so two-handed, right? So hi-hat. But at the same time, the hi-hat is going. So I'm using this hand for hi-hat. I'm also hitting the snare at the same moment. So 
And the idea is that I'm kind of maybe a, I'm leaning into it a little bit more. I'm a little bit more aggressive on the snare hit. And so what's great about this is it gives you a ton of hi-hat articulations just with these keys. So pay attention to these colors, experiment, find what where the sounds are, and you'll get a feel, a feel for, oh, it's red for the kick, it's yellow for the snare, it's blue for the hats, right? It's green for the cymbals. You'll get a feel for all that stuff, the toms. Um, but what I was going to say is the hi-hat articulations start from light to heavy. And they open up as you go along. So I like to switch between a, a, a kind of more closed into a more leaned in, more heavy feel when I hit the snare. So if you check this out. You see, you hear how that hi-hat just kind of feels like you just kind of dig into it a bit more when you hear that snare. And you can do that, right? You can still do that easy, even with a sort of trimmed down kit. It doesn't feel trimmed down at all. You use it and it, it, it feels like a fully featured kit. And it is because it has tons of articulation, tons of different recorded sounds um, for this kit. And it's, it sounds freaking fantastic. So get a feel for where the symbols are, right? And that's how I record. That's exactly how I record. So, um, yeah, at any rate, I, I wanted to kind of keep this video short and sweet. I wanted to show you this kit, fully featured drum kit that's meant for you to drop into the studio, record quickly, get your ideas going quickly. And I can say within a week, I have that. I've, I've done exactly that. I dropped into the studio, did pre-production last week, and then dropped in just yesterday and recorded all of these parts that you hear, right? So I'm just going to, I'm going to close this down and just let you hear what I got. And... That way you can get a feel for what I'm talking about, right? It's these drums. These drums have given me the ability to just drop in and do this, right? And look, any sort of drums can do this too. Any so, like, Let's be real. It's not just these drums. There's tons of drum programs out there that will also do this. But the important thing, I think, with this is that the, the, the bang for your buck, the value for what you're getting um, versus what you have to pay for it. It's so cheap right now. If you, depending on when you see this, you know, the introductory offer, I got up for 40 bucks, I think, USD. So it's so inexpensive for such great sounds. And this is what I've been able to do with it so far. Pretty awesome. And I'm just getting into the mix, right? I'm just doing sort of some of the, you know, right. I've got the SSL console loaded up. <laughs> so I'm not having to do much on the drum kit. I'm really, honestly, I'm, it says it's a pre-mixed kit. I'm putting it to the test by not really mixing the drums all that much. To be honest, I'm putting most of my mixing attention on the other instruments that I recorded. So this, so the bass subgroup, right? That's here. Guitars subgroup and vocals and we'll dig into that in another video but um yeah hope you guys like the video um i hope you guys like the drum sounds um let me know what you think let me know what some of your favorite drum libraries are um other than that until Next time. They make a
the same.